Oh, what's going on, RZ here? Welcome back to some more Pal World. Today we're we're gonna continue on. We're uh, we're not where we left off, but that's okay. We're gonna continue on. We're gonna do some exploration. We're gonna have a good time because today we're gonna go explore um, some things, some stuff, and just have a good time. Like I said, um, so we did some live streaming. We played. As you can see, the base is completely different from the last episode. If you missed it, you can check out the uh, the previous live streams. Uh, playlist on my channel you can watch the whole thing if you want and we played for like seven hours it was a blast anyways we got we got some things to do so um i'm gonna give you a quick rundown on you know like all the super exciting stuff that we did um all the stuff we found and uh we're just gonna kind of pick up from where we were streaming at but we've got all kinds of new things now so we've got new um new workstations We've got upgraded workstations. We've got upgraded. We obviously have way more pals now. We've got a whole bunch of pals. Uh, we can actually have, let's see, how many can we have? We can have 10 pals at our base, which is amazing. Um, something also fun and exciting is <laughs> uh, you could actually capture um, people. So when you come across like the evil people, uh, you can actually capture them <laughs> and put them into things and then they become <laughs> a pal. It's so terrible, but it's so funny at the same time. Um, anyways, so yeah, so we've got those guys. That's that's a, it's just it's just an interesting thing. But today, what we're gonna do is uh, I want to go ahead and I want to make something. I want to make something I've never made before. I'm really excited about it because um, we are gonna be getting our first flying mount. Nightwing. We're gonna get our first Nightwing saddle. So I caught Nightwing. Um, I actually did we catch it in the first episode. I can't remember if we caught it in the first episode or we caught it in the live stream. Uh, we don't need much stuff for it. I just need some leather and some fiber. So we're gonna go out and grab that. Now um, I want to talk about the mounts just a little bit, how the mounts work. So if you get a mountable pal, um, then so I guess the first one is technically Rushor, and uh, this guy is found. Actually, here let me, let me pull it up on the map so you can guys see. Rushor is actually found up in here, so um, yeah, you can find him up in here, and I guess technically that is the first mountable rideable uh, pal that you get. Now, you also, Melpaka can be rideable, uh, let's see, who else do we got? Oh yeah, Dire Howl is rideable, and then we also have the Eichthyr which is rideable, and then uh, Chillit, and Chillit is actually a boss, a, uh, I think it's only a level 11 boss, so you actually get to catch this guy really early, and he's actually really neat. Uh, really fun. So I've been using them as a uh, our mount, but um, yeah, Nightwing was our first flying mount. Now there is another mount, um, Celeray, which you can use as a glider. Um, I just ran into Celeray myself, so I hadn't really played with it at all. But we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go for uh, enough chit chat. We're gonna go for the Nightwing saddle. So we need to go out and get some leather. And in order to get leather, we're gonna take some. We're just gonna take some pals with us that can do some work. Um, you know what? Actually. What I want to do here is I actually want to, uh, let's go ahead and let's sort by level here. I want to take some other pals with us that aren't level 15 because level 15 is currently my max level that I can have pals at. Um, I don't think I have any pals that are level squished anymore. So if you catch a pal that's a higher level than what you can be, it'll say level something on the top and it'll be a lower level than what it can be. So um, I believe when we caught the Dino Summit, it was level 13, but it could only be 11, so it was 11. Uh, but I wanna go ahead, I wanna take some pals with me that are a little bit lower level, so that way we can um, get them leveled up. So we'll take this Pinglet. Um, actually, we got a new we got a new fire type too, a Ruby. We'll take Ruby. Celeray could be cool. Um, we caught a, uh, a shiny Thwack, <laughs> so it's hilarious. Uh, oh, we'll take a Spark Hit, and then we'll take uh, is this, is Jolt Hog, where's Jolt Hog? Where's my, where's my Jolt Hog? Jolt Hog is amazing. I love Jolt Hog. So we'll take Jolt Hog as well. Um, yeah, we'll use these guys and we'll go grab some leather. So I'm going to go ahead and sleep before we go. Um, so yeah. Oh shoot. I'm hungry as well. Let's go ahead and eat something. All right. So let's see here. What do we got? Um, I'm going to go ahead and clear my inventory as well. Uh, we've got some pal spheres. Oh my gosh, we got some giga spheres. Heck yes, <gasps> that's so exciting. I have never used a giga sphere, so um, let's go ahead and drop off our inventory, and then we're gonna go out and get some leather. Now, I want to talk to you about some of. I'm gonna try to give you as many tips as I can in this episode, like things that I've learned. I want to talk about like different resources and like how to find them and stuff. Actually, why do we have a pal sphere in here? We can take that with us. And let's go ahead and drop these off. And then let's drop all of these. So we got berry seeds, we got lettuce seeds and wheat seeds as well. We also have uh, some eggs, but we're not gonna hatch those. We're actually gonna hatch those over on stream. So um, yeah, uh, we also, oh, shotgun shells. 
ammo baked berries low grade we'll take that so we're, we're starting to get some ammo now as well which is super exciting but okay let's go ahead and let's head over here so there's different resources you get from different pals these gates don't mind these gates i know they look terrible they're i know i know i know they're only here to stop something from coming in because we keep having something come in all the time um so i need certain resources so if you don't have any idea what resources you're looking for or where to find them uh, you can always check your pal deck so the pal deck if if you hover over if you click on whichever one so like let's look at lamb ball here um lamb ball if you know what lamb ball is lamb ball has a fluffy shield so it tells you when activated it equips the player and becomes a shield sometimes drops wool when assigned to a ranch um work suitability handy work level one transporting level one farming level one and then possible drops if you like say if you were to kill this or capture it uh wool and lamb ball mutton and it also tells you your capture bonus down here so i'm looking for leather and i know for a fact uh, if i go through and click on here i'm just basically looking down here i'm looking for okay leather so um fox sparks gives us leather uh flack can give us leather uh, I do believe uh, Ruby can give us letter. Pinglet is the pal fluids. If you're looking for pal fluids, that's where you get pal fluids. Uh, so there's a couple different things that can give us leather, but I'm gonna go look for, uh, I'm gonna go look for, uh, not Ruby, I'm gonna go look for Fox Sparks because um, yeah, we can get leather from Fox Sparks pretty easy. And uh, they're just right down here. Now, as far as mounts go, um, I wanna kinda talk about the mounts as well. Mounts take up a spot in your inventory as your party. So my mount right now currently is Chillet but I have to have chill it in my party and I have to throw chill it out and then I have to press and hold F to call chill it over here and then I can ride. Now, I'm not a big huge fan of that. I kind of wish there was a dedicated like slot um, or like a button just to immediately hop on your mount, but there isn't currently that I know of. So um, yeah, that's that's a thing. I, I kind of wish that there was a dedicated spot, but what's nice about chill it is actually whilst I'm riding chill it, I can actually uh, attack while riding it, so, which is super cool. So we can come over here and we can attack Fox Sparks and try to get um, all the leather and goodies that we need. Actually, you know what? Instead of attacking, let's go ahead and let's capture because we need to get that bonus anyways. Now, if, you, um, if you're riding something, or if you're not riding, you can actually press and hold Q and that will actually bring up the, um, so hold on, we gotta open this chest. We gotta get all the goodies. Wood, gold coin, and two pound spheres. So if I press and hold Q, I can see what my current catch percentage is. Right now it's 3% on this guy because his health is full. So we're like, ah, ah no thank you. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, smack it a couple times. And now my catch percentage is 50%, which is much better. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and catch, the, uh, catch this guy. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky devil, you. You get in that pal sphere. All right. And it looks like we got two more right here that we can go ahead and take out. Awesome, awesome. Wow, this guy just, uh, this guy this guy straight up died because he's too low of a level. <laughs> this was out here in the water. Actually, you know what? I could probably catch you. Oh, I guess we're gonna have to lob it a little bit. There we go. Get over here. Awesome. Also, I have not seen any uh, water uh, pals yet. I haven't seen anything like swimming in the water. Oh, hey guys. Wow. All right. Now, when you uh, capture a pal, you do also get the materials as well. So if you're worried about getting materials, uh, you need materials or whatever, you don't have to kill them in order to get them. You can capture them as well. All right, two for one, let's go. See if we can get both of them at the same time. There's one and there's two. We are at eight of 10, okay. Oh, there's an egg. Hold on, let's go grab this egg. I love getting eggs. Harvesting eggs is so much fun. Uh, they, they all have different looks and stuff, but yeah, large dark egg, heck yeah, let's go. Cause you never know what you're gonna get out of them. All right, is that number eight? Darn, that's number, eight. oh no, that was 10. 10 of 10 completed. We did it, we got all 10 of 10. Now, let's see, I'm actually curious. If I go into here and I go to my pal deck, what does it look like for this guy? So capture bonus is just complete, okay. Very cool, very, very neat. So yeah, we got that done. And we are at, what do we got on leather wise? We're at 11, we're gonna have to, we gotta get some more. <gasps> Is that a, those are Vixies. Oh, I need Vixie. We don't have a Vixie yet. I do not have a Vixie yet. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my God, there's so many of them. Oh my gosh. There are so many of them. Holy moly. Why is there so many? Oh God, I gotta go. 
I have zero. I have like no health. These guys are spanking me. They're doing. They're doing. They're terrible. It's because there's so many of them. Oh my gosh! I can't believe how much damage. I mean, there's a large group of them. There, there was like ten of them all. Man, if I could have caught all of those, just catch them all and be done. Holy! Oh gosh! Oh no! He got me from a distance. You sneaky devil! You. How dare you? Do you know who I am? <laughs> Uh, let's see if these ice things can hit. I don't know if those can hit from that far away. I think we're out of range. <gasps> oh no! You're not out of range. We killed one. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to capture one. All right, come on. Let's get you. Get you. You. Let's go. Oh my god, that hurts. Nope, you're gonna go you're gonna go into Really? Get caught. Why is this Vixie so hard to catch? Yeah, let's get that one alone. Oh my gosh, why is this thing so hard to catch? Oh come on, come on, come on, Vixie. 85%, let's go. Capture it already. Oh my gosh, we got one. The idol of Palapagos Island. If you bully a Vixie, you best be prepared to become enemies with the whole world. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no joke. Not a joke at all. Where is that Vixie at? We just got it. Where are you? All right, here. Okay. So this is farming. Sometimes digs up items from the ground when assigned to a ranch. So it just randomly digs up items. Okay, so that's cool. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now that we're done with that, 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 that was wild. Oh, I feel like I feel terrible. Like we we got we were getting destroyed by Vixies. That was interesting. All right, we're back at base. I'm hoping that I have enough leather now. Let's put you back in your uh, house here. Let's see if we have enough leather for this. So, like I said, we are looking for a. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not gonna have enough leather because I'm missing something. Oh, we got it. Nightwing saddle. Let's go ahead and start production on that. Um, we'll have a little friend come over here and build that for us. Now, whilst else we're here, let's see, we have some eggs. So let's go ahead and let's let's get this egg incubated. Um, so it already incubated for the time. I just have to basically crack it. Uh, and we got a Nox. Okay, so it was a Nox. Uh, let's go ahead and get another large dark egg in here. Let that do its thing. Now, Nox is, let's see, I don't have Nox in here. Nox is probably, it must be in here. So there's Nox. Nox is a, I guess a cute little thing. He looks like he has like a little blankie on or something. He's neat, does gathering stuff. Um, it's pretty handy. Now, a uh, really handy uh, group of uh, things is actually Love Lovander is pretty handy because their handiwork is level two, medicine production is level two and transport's level two. So you can actually have higher levels on these and there's actually uh, machines. There's actually things to increase their levels as well. Uh, let's see, also uh, our Pin King, he is also, uh, well, they uh she 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 <laughs> is level two handiwork level two transportation level two cooling level two mining and level two watering so pretty handy um pretty handy uh pal to have while fighting each other fire pals drop more while fighting together fire pals drop more items when defeated so that's pretty cool but yeah there's definitely inf interesting little uh, abilities and mechanics now uh life bunk is actually really neat as well because if you get the um like the saddle or whatever equivalent when activated leaps onto the player's head and uses a submachine gun to follow player attacks so um yeah we absolutely need that and actually i believe we are now high enough level to get that uh life monks machine gun or tansy's assault rifle <laughs> Like, come on. Absolutely, we need these and we need to try them. So let's see, what can we, um, are we done over here? Are you still, you still crafting that thing? Oh man, this thing takes forever. I'm gonna go ahead and help craft this. We'll get this done, we'll get a Nightwing saddle and then we're gonna go fly for the first time. I'm so excited. Actually, do I have a Lovander in my, where is Lovander? Hey, I need you to come over here cause you are a faster builder. Hello, can, no, can I, can I grab you? Oh my God. Can you build this please? Yes. Cause you have, you're way faster at this than, than all of them. And we are good. All right. So we got the Nightwing saddle, which means it is time. I guess we're gonna swap out Nightwing for Chillet. 
and we're gonna let's see let's see how this works i'm so excited for this um oh also hold on let's let's see if we can make any of the other things real quick can we make either okay so we can make the submachine gun or we can make the tansy a assault rifle made especially for tansy activates partner skill and tansy will enter gunner mode and begin shooting at nearby enemies um or life monk's machine gun submachine gun made especially for life monk activates partner skill and life monk will ride on your head and fire at enemies that sounds <sighs> let's make this one Okay, we'll let that one get made. Let's try out our flying. I've never done this before, so this is uh, this is very exciting. And ride. <gasps> okay, so we have a tornado attack. Spaces ascend. Oh. Okay, so it uses it does use stamina to fly. Oh, interesting. So it does use stamina to fly. Now, okay, well, well, let's see what happens. What happens when we run out of stamina? Do we just go down? I wanna see what happens here. Or do we have to stop? Can we stop and like regain stamina? No, okay, if we stop, if we stop, we, uh, we don't use any more. What happens when we run out? Okay, it looks like we kinda just fall to the ground. Now, my neck, I'm actually kind of curious. Is there a way? I wonder if there is a ooh, dark skill fruit? Skill fruit power bomb. What the heck are skill fruits? I have no idea. Interesting. I wonder if there's a way to increase the stamina. Because it'd be nice to be able to fly around more places uh, rather than just like, uh, right, like hovering off the ground. But I mean, at the same time, you know what? That is a pretty decent uh, flight time to be able to get up to somewhere. And I mean, it allows oh, exploration is going to be insane. So like, if I wanted to go up to this tower and I'm sure higher level things probably have more megasphere, uh, a damp egg. Okay. Oh, this is, this is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. This is actually really cool. It's not quite the flight that I was expecting though. I was kind of hoping we were just going to be able to free fly, but you know what? It makes sense having stamina. Otherwise it would be like, okay, once you get your first flyer, why do you ever need to get a different one, you know? Whereas like other ones might have better stamina and can stay flying longer. Oh, this is exciting. It's so nice because now I can go pick up all these things <laughs> and I don't like have to do anything. Like I can literally just fly from these and just pick them up. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and head back to the base, but on the way back there, I'm gonna be looking for life monk effigies because they're bright green and easy to see at night. And then we're gonna use those life monk effigies. Oh, look at there's our there's our boss friend again. Chill it. So if we need another one, we can come back right here, right here and grab one. See like that ball of glowingness right there, that green ball. That's a, a life monk effigy, and it's used to actually upgrade your uh, player. There's one all the way over there. Wow, you can see these from forever away. I love that. Oh my gosh, one there, one there, one there, one there, one there. They're everywhere. This is amazing. Oh my gosh, the flying mounts are OP. <laughs> just, being able, just being able to see these things at night is like insane. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be able to, we're gonna be able to level up our, our character like super nice. Um, okay, hopefully we can get in here though. Can I get this one? Can I get this one? Got it. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, this being able to fly at night and see all these little different colors of stuff, it's so nice. This is gonna be making, this is gonna make going around getting like fast travels and stuff. So nice. Ooh, what is that? Oh, a Tombat? Oh, I don't have one of those yet. Oh my gosh. The urge and the need to get capture like one of everything is just, it's so real this game, especially because there's only, like we have, I think there's 111 right now. And like, that's com like, like that is a reasonable attainable number, you know? Uh, and I really wanna just catch all of them. <laughs> oh, look at that, Toco, Toco Coco. It looks like two kids, that's so cool. All right, we're heading back now. I spent all night gathering things uh, in the darkness because like, why oh, I gotta grab this egg. <laughs> because why not? And my pal team is getting hungry. Yeah, we gotta get back. We gotta get back to our base. Oh, holy moly. There's like a whole city here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna be friendly. I don't know if they're gonna be welcoming or not. Actually, they don't. Small settlement. They actually don't look like they're that. They don't look mean. All right, let's get this uh, fast travel here. Come on. And then let's go ahead and fast travel back. Acquired one technology points. Oh, nice. 
Okay, so all those green things that I grabbed, uh, we can go in here and uh, it, you can see it says enhanced player stats. So we can hit F and I have 17 of them down. So capture power, one to two. Uh, this is gonna enhance our power. Use for it, yes. Um, capture power, yep. And then capture where we need 11 in order to go from three to four. So I think that makes us able to capture stronger things. So super nice. And then we also have an enhanced palace thing. So this is where we have like souls and stuff like that. And then I can enhance them. But I don't exactly know what it does. <gasps> oh, eight max HP, attack, defense, work speed. Wait, can I, what about this guy? I was curious if I could uh, do anything with Stamina, but I don't see anything. Okay, and look at all these guys right here all much higher level now 12 10 10 15 much better All right, so let's get this guy life monks sub machine gun. Do we have enough for We need pallium fragments. Oh, let's go grab those pallium fragments and get the other guys going because we got to check out We've got to check out this one too Wait, oh That was you that just made that sound, huh? I thought I heard a shiny Okay, so Tansy's assault rifle. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so where's our life monk at? We gotta we gotta check this out. Uh let's see. We've got you. So let's go ahead and bring you out. Uh, instead of spark it, maybe. And then let's see. Let's swap to you, throw you out, and then life monk recoil. Oh my god, he literally has a sub machine gun while riding on my head. Are you kidding me? There's that's so funny. Hold on, let's go. We gotta try this. What the heck is going on here? I'm stuck in something. Something's going on here. I'm I'm like, I'm stuck. I almost think that this might be bugged. Yeah, it looks like, it looks like this guy might be bugged here. Interesting. Because when I was walking around, it was like having me halfway in the ground. So maybe wait on that one. Maybe just wait on that one. Um. Okay, so we'll, we'll leave that one here. We will take, we'll take this guy though, because we were working on his machine gun. Now his machine, he's not mounted on my head. So we should be good. Let's go ahead and throw you out. And then cherry rifle. Nope, that's not what I wanted. So now he has a, does he have it now? No, he's like planting or something. I gotta take him out of here. Okay, so he's got a cool down on his cherry rifle. <gasps> There's a shiny. I can hear it. Where is it? Oh, it's a shiny crevice. Okay, we gotta get it. Let's see what our capture power is. See, so we have a higher capture power now. I'm sure it probably doesn't help with a fully, oh my gosh. It's adorable though. Oh my God. <laughs> nope, 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 don't fight. I don't want you to fight. I don't want to kill it. Uh, we, I came across a, um, a shiny, uh, we came across a shiny uh, little sheep one. I can't remember his name. And uh, yeah, we accidentally killed it. Uh, I know it wasn't nice. That guy was adorable. Um, he went back to the thing though, darn it. A cremis. Okay, let's see if we have cherry rifle. There you go. Oh my gosh. Let's go. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. I love that. All right, let's go up this chest. Cloth, outfit schematic, pal sphere, gold coin, used copper key. Oh man, that's so funny. It, anyways, it just started blasted. <laughs> All right, so we're back. Let's see what we can do here. If we can get, um, I think we need to get some wheat fields going. Oh, the problem is we need wheat seeds. I have not found, we've only found three wheat or two wheat seeds. We need three in order to get this first thing going. Um, which is unfortunate because that's our next goal. Our next goal is actually get the, a wheat field in a mill going. <gasps> Ooh, mega shield. Yep, we're gonna need that. Metal chest, absolutely. Wood defensive wall, absolutely. Okay, um, mega shield, that's gonna be nice. Pallium, um, ooh. Ooh, ancient civilization parts. We're running a little low on those. I guess let's go ahead and get the mill built. We'll set the mill up. I'm trying to keep things nice and organized and relatively clean here. We, uh, I spent a whole bunch of time really redoing everything. So it's a great size, allows for, oh my gosh, it requires 15 ingots. Holy moly. All right, what does the mill require? Uh, just wooden stone. Okay, that's easy enough. Let's see, let's put the mill maybe right here. Oh, that's there's a stair right there. You know what, let's put it right here. 
That'll work. And then we'll put the wheat fields like right here. And then let's go ahead and queue up a bunch more. Oh, we already have some queued up. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. We got a, uh, we got a raid coming in here. That's not super great. Uh, these raids are getting harder and harder. Uh, let's go to our pal box management. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and throw out our, actually our heaviest hitters are probably already out there. Throw you out there. And then I've got, let's see, who do I want to throw out myself? Let's see, let's sort by level. Chill it. I guess we'll throw chill it out. All right, where are you guys at? Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. What level are these guys? They're all level 15? Oh my gosh, okay. All right, there they go. Oh, massive raid attack. Luckily, we have so many higher level uh, pals that usually we can deal with these guys fairly easy and fairly quick. And we did it, nice. Very nice. So we get medical supplies, gold coins, whole bunch of goodies. A medium pal soul, wow. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Easy raid, <laughs> easy enough. All right, our next egg is ready. Let's go ahead and incubate this and see what we get. This one's a dark type. Not sure what we're gonna get there. We're gonna get, um, oh, was that a Tombat? I can't see the current missions are in the way. I think it was a Tombat. Oh, it is. I have never had a Tombat before. Level two mining, level two planting or harvesting, or like farming and level two moving stuff. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and set out this guy. Seems just a little cold. Let's get a fire in here. And seems very comfortable, 100%, perfect. That one's not gonna be very exciting because it's like five minutes. Okay. So I've got to figure out where to get wheat from. So can be purchased from a merchant, necessary for starting a farm, seeds that produce wheat. Okay, you know what? That town might have a merchant in it. Let's go ahead and take some coins over there. And let's go see, oh, I'm starving. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Let's go over to that town and let's see if, um, how's my inventory and stuff look? It looks okay. Let's go over to the town and see if we can find a merchant. Actually, is there a merchant on? There was a traveling merchant around us at one point. Yeah, let's go see that town might have a merchant. Ah, uh, you know what? I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that I could fast travel and we just had a fast travel there. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was here, a small settlement. So let's go there and let's see if we can buy some, um, some wheat seeds is what I'm looking for. Real reliable PIDF officer. Hello, I'm not gonna hurt anybody. I feel like there is that a merchant right there? Wandering merchant. All right. Hello, wandering merchant. Uh, I got some items in stock. Bye. Let's see. Do you have wheat seeds? Oh, they sell pal spheres. Wheat seeds. Yes. I don't need 6,800. Let's buy. Uh, well, I know you need one to start the farm. But let's buy four just to be safe in case I need to start two farms. What else do you have? you have? Wheat, milk, red berries, medical supplies, organs, leather. They have all kinds of wonderful things. Oh, long eared headband schematic, uh, gummus cap, pen king cap, witch hat, farming hat. When in inventory, unlocks recipe for farming hat can be crafted. I wonder what that does. Waller hat, to toko toko cap. Interesting. All right. Thank you. That's all I needed. Oh, this is a cool little area. Okay. So now we should be able to be with, oh my gosh, this thing is huge. Uh, okay. This thing is way, way bigger than I thought it was going to be. Uh, yeah, we'll place that. We'll place that here. Well, maybe we'll just have one. That thing is massive. So what's cool is, uh, we also got those berries, but these berries teach them Use this on a pal, Shadow Burst can be acquired. That's interesting. They are fruit specifically designed to give them an ability. That's very neat. Oh, you don't want this eggs probably ready to go. Oh, almost. And the wheat is up, okay. Incubation, let's go ahead and do this, see what we get. Uh, Cinnamoth. Oh, that's super cool. We got Cinnamoth. All right, so let's set an egg in here. Let's set the Scorching egg in here. Seems just a little cold. Um, nope, that's not what I wanted. Get back in here. Let's put another fire next to it, maybe? Seems just a little cold. Huh. 
maybe I need to put a fire next, like close to it. Huh. Oh, it requires kindling. That means it requires a um, it requires a, a fire pal. You. Um, you. Can I? Why can't I get you? Is it because you're lighting that fire? That's what they're doing. They're lighting. They're trying to light all the torches. I was wondering what they're doing. I think they're too high up though. All right, let me see. Are you gonna go ignite the? No, 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 no. You're gonna do this. Okay, not in the. <laughs> I guess I throw it in the bed. That's fine. We'll just wait until morning. Okay. Can you can you do the? Wait. No. 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 I don't want you to cook. I want you to. Okay, you know what? It's fine. We'll just wait. So while we're waiting for that, we're gonna see if we can go ahead and make our mega shield, which I'm gonna guess is probably in here. Mega shield. We're gonna need a uh, paldium fragment. We're gonna need 30. Actually, you know what? We had a bunch of paldium queued up over here. Let's see if it finished. Um, a little bit of it did. Not enough though. All right, we got enough for, I think we have enough for the mega shield now. Uh, extremely unhealthy due to neglect. What? What is your deal, man? What is your deal? Open menu. Uh, feed? There. You hungry? Are you, are you happy now? You're not happy now. You know what? Come on. Let's, let's throw you... Let's throw you in the hot tub. You deserve a little you time. Get in there and enjoy yourself. Oh, your sanity is really good, actually. He's just a little depressed. Not feeling, not feeling love. Anyways, okay, scorched, scorching egg is ready. So I'm gonna guess there's gonna be a fire type in here. What are we gonna get though? Um, whoa, what is that? What is that? I don't know what it is because there's a current mission in the way. <laughs> Flame bell? Burly body? What are you? Here, let's bring you out and see what you look like. Oh, it's adorable! It's kind of like a Litwick. It's so cute. Oh, it's adorable. Um, okay, so now we did that. Let's go and grab our... Uh, let's grab our Mega Shield. So... I'm curious what the difference is. So, let's see. This says... Pairs itself automatically when I take damage. Does it say how much I have though? Like if I go to, so it's a hundred. Okay, so mega shield, start production on this. All right, one mega shield. Let's see, so like I said, we're at a hundred now and then we're gonna go to 260, let's go. Oh my gosh, that's a huge win. <laughs> that is so nice. Oh wait, what did you just drop? A flame, or you just dropped a flame organ? What? Hold on a second. Pal deck. Let's go to our pal deck and let's look at that little fire guy, that little fire thing that we just got. Uh, well, actually, hold on. What does Cinemoth do? Cinemoth, poison fog. Okay, so that, nothing farming about that. Where was? Uh, sometimes produces flame organ when assigned to a. That's perfect because fire arrows take flame organs in order to produce. So the fact that we have something that produces flame, like fire flame arrows or flame organs, that is amazing. Okay, and then we're also getting a select recipe here. We're gonna do flour, max production. All right, we'll so let that do its thing. Get another egg in here. And uh, yeah, we got all kinds of wonderful things done today. So let's see, large damp egg. Oh, seems just a little hot. I bet you it probably is a little toasty. Better? Seems very comfortable, fantastic. So the only other thing I have before I can get in uh, our upgrade here is the cooking pot, which uh, that would be nice. That would be very nice, but I, I don't have I don't have the level for that yet. All right, so this egg has a uh, 30 minutes left on, so we're not gonna get to that right now. But we got the uh, we got a wheat field in here, we got the mill going, we got everything's going, everything's going pretty good, and we got our flyer today, and we checked out a couple of the uh, the the new rifle, like the the shooting monkey thing. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. 
I absolutely love it. But that is going to end it for this guy in this episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, all of the things. Uh, if you'd like to see some other things or you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. Let me know. Uh, I'm super curious. But, um, yeah, we're going to be live streaming again today at the time of release of this video. We're going to be live streaming again today, doing some more things, doing some more stuff, you know, just progressing through the game, trying to figure things out. And, uh, yeah, just having a good time. So, yeah, thanks again for coming out. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody.